Hi, I'm Kaylee, and I'm a biology pre-med student here at West Liberty, and I'm going to show you what it's like to be a student in this program. Now we're heading into biochem with Dr. Schmidt. I decided to go into pre-med at West Liberty because I knew it was a small, well-known program, and I had always wanted to do something in the medical field. Today we're going to continue on with our discussion of Chapter 7, talking about carbohydrates. Alright, but it's been a while since we've done a fun little critical thinking question. So, uh, before we get into the lecture material, we are going to do a little critical thinking question. What should you do first? Draw them. That would be super helpful. So go ahead. We'll start with our favorite. The classes that I'm taking right now are definitely very difficult and very serious. They're mostly lecture based, but the professors still do a great job of getting people engaged and involved in classes. So today we're heading into our biology club cabinet meeting. We have the big sale going on. Somebody needs to make a sign for that, which I can do. I can make a sign. Can I've been a part of bio club since freshman year. Definitely free pizza got me to go to the first meeting <laughs> because we have pizza at every meeting. But it's a way that I met so many other biology students, especially upperclassmen who are in the same major. So you form relationships with people who have taken classes that you have to take and you learn helpful tips from them. It's just like a really good community between the biology program. So now I'm going to be working on my independent research project with Dr. Schmidt, which focuses on how oxygen affects immune responses to Francisella. What we're going to be doing today, Kaylee, is we are going to be doing an ELISA. Okay? And what ELISAs do is they allow us to measure I knew coming into college that I wanted to do some sort of undergraduate research, especially because most medical programs look for that on your CV or your resume. So I waited until the beginning of sophomore year once I had adjusted to college, and I knew Dr. Schmidt had a relatively small lab, so I decided to go and talk to her so I could get more one-on-one -on -one, hands-on learning experiences with her. A lot of medical school programs look for undergraduate research because it shows that you can multitask between just doing your studies and allotting time for something else. And a lot of programs actually require you to do research when you're in graduate school. So we're in the Horzempo laboratory right now and I'm currently working with mouse macrophages and Francisella tularensis which is usually plated on chocolate auger, which looks like this. It's not actually made of chocolate, though. So these are the mouse macrophages in here, and this flask is just meant for cells to grow, so the cells actually adhere to the back of the flask, so when you look under the microscope, they are stuck to the bottom of the flask. To molecular biology with Dr. Kreisberg. It's definitely difficult, but it's so nice having such small class sizes because you really get to know your professors. And a lot of the times I won't even schedule appointments to meet with my professors if I have a question. Like their doors are just always open, they're always willing to help. You can just walk in, they'll help you with anything. Where like I knew I wanted a smaller school for that reason, for that more one on one attention. Today I'm working in the microbiology lab with Dr. Kreisberg. A big reason that I chose Westlib was definitely affordability. I'm an Elbin scholar because of my high school GPA and my ACT score from in high school and it's something that sold my family from the very first visit. And also even though I'm technically out of state, I get the metro rate which is awesome because it does bring tuition down so much from when we were first looking thinking, oh an out of state school it's probably so expensive, but it's not. I'm also on the volleyball team here at West Liberty and we're getting ready to have our last match of the regular season. Being a student 
student athlete definitely has taught me time management. It's really difficult when you have a stretch of away games that could be four, five, six hours away on a Tuesday night when you have class at 8 a.m. on Wednesday morning. But I personally think it helps me because I know I need to study for certain exams or classes because I don't have time to procrastinate or to slack off. I hope this gave you a good look at what it's like to be a biology pre-med major here at West Liberty. For more information, check out the website.